of Torah. Of this is written, I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand, to plant heavens and establish earth. Isaiah 51 hours and 16 minutes. The verse does not read the heavens, but rather heavens. Registered sign degrees Rabbi Elazar asked, What is the meaning of, I have covered you with the shadow of my hand? He replied, When Torah was transmitted to Moses, myriads of celestial angels came to scorch him with flames from their mouths, but the blessed. Holy One sheltered him now when this word ascends, is aroused, and stands before the blessed Holy One. He shelters that word and covers that person so that he will not be discovered by them, arousing their jealousy, before that word is transformed into new heavens and a new earth, as is written, I have covered you with the shadow of my hand, to plant heavens and establish earth. From this we learn that every word concealed from the eyes attains supernal value, as is written, I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. Why was it covered and hidden from view? For the sake of supernal value, as is written, to plant heavens and establish earth, as already explained. To say to Zion, you are my army, my people, Ibid. To say to those gates, those distinguished words, these above those, you are I ami. Do not read you are I ami, my people, but rather you are ve, imi, with me, becoming my partner, just as I made heaven and earth by speaking, as is said. By the word of YHVH, the heavens were made, Psalms 33, 6, so do you, happy are those engaged in Torah. Now if you say that the word of any ignorant person has the same effect, come and see, one who is unaccustomed to the mysteries of Torah and innovates words he does not fully understand, when that word ascends, a man of perversity, tongue of falsehood, Proverbs 16 28, 6 17, registered sign bursts forth from the chasm of the immense abyss. Leaping 500 parasangs registered sign to obtain that word. Grabbing her, he takes that word back to his chasm and transmogrifies her into a distorted heaven called chaos. The man of perversity flies through that heaven. 6. Oh parasangs in one glide. Question mark? As soon as the distorted heaven is established, a woman of whoredom, Hosea 1, 2 emerges, clinging to it, joining with it. From there she sets out, killing thousands, myriads. For as long as she endures in that heaven, she is empowered to swoop through the entire world in a single moment concerning this is written, Woe unto them who haul iniquity with cords of falsehood, and sin is with a cart rope. Isaiah 5 18 degrees degrees iniquity is the male, who is sin, the female. He registered sign hauls the one called iniquity with those cords of falsehood, and then sin is with a cart rope, that female called sin, who is empowered there to fly and kill human beings. So. Many are those she has struck dead. Proverbs 7:26. Who has struck them dead? This sin who slays human beings. Who causes this? A disciple unqualified to teach who teaches. Degrees may the compassionate one save us. Rabbi Shimon said to the companions, I beg of you not to utter a word of Torah that you do not know and have not heard properly from a lofty tree, lest you enable sin to slay multitudes without cause. They all opened, saying, May the compassionate one save us. May the compassionate one save us, come and see, with Torah the blessed holy one created the world, this has been established, as is written, I was with him as a nursling, I was a daily delight, Proverbs 8:30. degrees degrees he gazed upon her once, twice, three and four times, then spoke, creating through her, degrees to teach human beings, not to err in her, as is written, then he saw and declared her, arranged her and probed her, he told humanity job 28 hours, and 27 minutes point seven degrees, the blessed Holy One created what he created corresponding to those four times, he saw and declared her, arranged her and probed her. Before generating his work, he introduced four words, an exord xa mwa, birishit bar elohim at, in the beginning God created, first, these four, then, ntmw7, hasham am, the heavens. These correspond to the four times that the Blessed Holy One contemplated Torah before actualizing his work of art. Rabbi Eliezer was going to see Rabbi Yo son of Rabbi Shimon son of Lakaniah, his father-in-law, 5b. Rabbi Abba accompanied him, and a man was goading the donkeys behind them. Rabbi Abba said, Let us open openings of Torah, for the time is ripe to adorn ourselves on our way. Rabbi Eliezer opened, saying, My Sabbaths you are to observe Leviticus 19.30. Come and see, in six days the Blessed Holy One created the world, every single day revealed its work, transmitting its power through that day, 
When did it reveal its work and transmit its power? On the fourth day. For those first three days were all concealed, not revealed. When the fourth day arrived, it generated the work and power of them all. Since fire, water, and air, although they are three ethereal elements, were all suspended, their work unrevealed until earth revealed them. Then the skill of each one of them was made known. Now you might say this happened on the third day, concerning which is written, let the earth sprout vegetation, and the earth brought forth vegetation Genesis 1 11, 12. But although written of the third day, it was really the fourth. Included in the third to be one without division, from the fourth day on, its work was revealed, yielding an artisan for each and every skill. Degrees for the fourth day constitutes the fourth leg of the celestial throne. All the work of all of them, both earlier and later days, was dependent on the Sabbath day, as is written. God included in the seventh day his work that he had made Genesis 2. 2. This is Sabbath, fourth leg of the throne. Now you might ask, if so, why my Sabbaths you are to observe? 2. The answer is, the Sabbath of Sabbath Eve and the Sabbath of the day itself, which are indivisible. Question mark that rambling donkey driver goading behind them said, and what is my sanctuary you are to hold in awe? Leviticus 19 30 years he replied, this is the holiness of the Sabbath. He said, what is the holiness of the Sabbath? He replied, this is the holiness drawn down from above. He said, if so, you have turned the Sabbath into something not holy except for the holiness that rests upon it from above. Rabbi Abba said, so it is, call the Sabbath a delight, the holy of YHVH honored. Isaiah 58 hours, and 13 minutes. Sabbath and holy of YHVH are each mentioned separately, he said, if so, who is holy of YHVH, he replied, holiness that descends from above, resting upon it, he said, if holiness drawn down from above is called honored, then it appears that the Sabbath is not honored. Yet it is written, and honor it, Ibid, Rabbi Eliezer said to Rabbi Abba, let this man be, within him lies a new word we do not know. They said to him, Speak. He opened, saying, Nino Nxet Shabetote, my Sabbaths. Nxet amplifies the meaning to include the range of Sabbath, which is 2,000 cubits in every direction, so the meaning is expanded. Nino Nxet Shabetote, my Sabbaths. One is the higher Sabbath, the other, the lower Sabbath. 22 degrees both included as one, concealed as one. Another Sabbath was left unmentioned and felt ashamed. She said before him, Master of the universe, since the day you created me, I have been called Sabbath, and there can be no day without night? He replied, My daughter, you are Sabbath, I call you Sabbath, but I am about to crown you with a higher crown. He issued a proclamation, My sanctuary you are to hold in awe. This is the Sabbath of Sabbath Eve, who is awe and in whom awe dwells. Who is that? The one included by the Blessed Holy One when he said I am YHVH question mark 74 I heard my father say so precisely. And Xet includes the range of Sabbath. My Sabbaths are a circle with a square inscribed within. They are two. Corresponding to which are two hallowings we should recite. One is three. Vekhalu. And they. Heaven and earth. Were completed. Genesis by 970 the other. WP. Jiddush. Hallowing. Vekhalu contains 35 words, and in the Jiddush that we recite there are 35 words, altogether amounting to 70 names of the Blessed Holy One, with which assembly of Israel is adorned. Two degrees since this circle and square are my Sabbaths, they are both included in SMW Shemor, observe Deuteronomy 5.12, as is written. MNWN, Tishmoru, you are to observe Leviticus 19.30, degrees whereas the higher Sabbath is not included here in Iwashamor. Shemor. Observe, but rather in 711, Zachar, remember, Exodus 20, 8, for the Supreme King is completed by 7121, Zachar, so he is called, the King who possesses peace, and his peace is a one, Zachar, dot degrees degrees that is why there is no strife above, because of the two pieces, below, one, Jacob, the other, Joseph for so it is written twice, peace, peace to the far and the near Isaiah 57 hours, and 19 minutes, to the far refers to Jacob, 6 a, uh, and the near refers to Joseph, to the far, as is said, from afar, YHVH appeared to me Jeremiah 31, 2, his sister stood far off, Exodus 2, 4.2 degrees degrees and the near, as is said, new, gods, who came from nearby Deuteronomy 32 hours, and 17 minutes degrees from afar is the highest point, 
standing in its palace, so it is written, MMWN, Tishmoru, you are to observe, included in Sa Shamor, observe, two degrees my sanctuary you are to hold in, A is the point standing in the center, degrees which one should fear more than anything, for its punishment is death, as is written, 799 millimeters, Mehalaliha, those who profane it, shall surely be put to death, Exodus 31 hours, and 14 minutes. Who are Mon, Mehalaliha, those who profane it, whoever enters the nine an, halal, hollow, of the circle and the square, the site where that point rests, and damages it shall surely be put to death. So it is written, you are to hold in awe, that point is called J, 247 and on it rests that high concealed one, unrevealed, this is YHVH, and all is one, Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Abba dismounted and kissed him. They said, all this wisdom in your hand, and you are goading our donkeys behind us, who are you? He replied, do not ask who I am, rather, let us go together, engaging in Torah. Let each one speak words of wisdom to illumine the way. They said to him, who appointed you to go here, goading donkeys, he replied, 1, Yod, waged war with two letters, Kaf, and Y1 Ab, Samek, to be bound together with me, degrees 43, Kaf, did not want to depart and be bound, since it cannot survive for a moment anywhere else, 710, Samek, did not want to depart, so it could support those who fall, for without no, Samek, they cannot survive, alone. 17. Yod, came to me, kissing and embracing me, she wept with me, saying, My son, what can I do for you? But look, I will ascend and fill myself with goodness, with hidden, celestial, splendid letters, then I will come to you, serving as your support. I will endow you with two letters, higher than those that departed, namely, W, Yesh, substance, celestial 41, Yod, and PW, Sheen as your treasuries filled with everything. So, my son, go and go donkeys that is why I go like this. 24 degrees Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Abba rejoiced and wept. They said, go ride, we will go the donkeys behind you. He said to them, didn't I tell you it is the command of the king, until the one driving donkeys arrives? Question mark degrees degrees. They said to him, but you haven't told us your name, the site you inhabit, what is it? He replied. The sight I inhabit is fine and lofty for me, a certain tower soaring in the air, grand and splendid. Those dwelling in this tower are the blessed holy one and a certain poor person. Two, this is where I reside, but I have gone into exile, goading donkeys. Rabbi Abba and Rabbi Eliezer gazed at him. He had flavored his words for them as sweet as manna and honey. They said to him, if you tell us the name of your father, we will kiss the dust of your feet. He said, why? It is not my habit to boast of Torah, but my father's dwelling was in the great ocean. He was a fish, circumnavigating the vast ocean from one end to the other. So grand and splendid, ancient of days, he would swallow all the other fish in the ocean, then spew them out alive, thriving, filled with all goodness of the world. So strong, he could swim the ocean in one moment. He shot me out like an arrow from the hand of a mighty warrior, degrees degrees secreting me in that sight I described. Then he returned to his sight, disappearing into the ocean. Rabbi Eliezer contemplated his words. He said, You are the son of the holy lamp degrees degrees you are the son of Ravham Nun Asava, seven son of the radiance of Torah, and you are goading donkeys behind us. They both wept together, kissed him, and went on. They said to him, If it pleases our master, let him reveal his name to us. He opened, saying, Benayahu son of Yehoiada, 2 Samuel 23:20. Dot degrees this verse has been established, which is fine, but this verse alludes to supernal mysteries of Torah. Benayahu son of Yehoiada appears on behalf of a mystery of wisdom, a concealed word, and the name prevails, son of a living man, Ibid, page 7 Yen, Tzaddik, righteous one, vitality of the worlds, master of deeds, Ibid, master of all action, of all celestial powers, for all emerge from him. He is Mxamim, YHVH Tzavayot. Lord of hosts, insignia of all his hosts, degrees distinguished and supreme, he is called master of deeds, from Kavtseel, Ibid, this grand and dignified tree, supreme above all, degrees from which site did it emerge, from which rung did it come, the verse goes on to say, from Kavtseel, a high, concealed rung that, 6b, no eye has seen, Isaiah 64, 
3. Degrees degrees a rung containing all, gathered in from upper light, and from which all emerges. It is the holy, hidden palace, in which all rungs are gathered and concealed. Registered sign degrees in the trunk of this tree all worlds exist. From it, all holy powers are nourished and deployed. He smote the two Ariel of Moab, two Samuel, Ibid. Two sanctuaries existed because of him, were nourished by him, first temple and second temple. As soon as he departed, the flow flowing from above ceased. He, as it were, smote them, destroying and obliterating them, and the holy throne fell. Degrees as is written, and I was in the midst of the exile Ezekiel 1, 1, that rung called I degrees was in the midst of the exile. Why, by the river Kever, Ibid, river of already, degrees on account of the river gushing and flowing, whose waters and springs ceased, so that it did not flow as before, as is written, a river dries up and is parched, Job 14 11, comma dries up, in the first temple, one as parched, in the second. So he smote the two Ariel of Moab one by one, Moab, Moab, for they originated one times, Meab, from father, in heaven and were destroyed and obliterated because of him, all the lights illumining Israel darkened. Further, he went down and slew the lion, 2 Samuel, Ibid.7 In former times, when this river gushed its waters below, the people of Israel were fulfilled, offering offerings and sacrifices to atone for their souls. Then from above would descend the image of a lion, whom they could see on the altar, crouching over its prey, consuming sacrifices like a fierce warrior, while all dogs hid themselves away, not venturing out, when since prevailed, he descended to the rungs below, degrees and he killed that lion, no longer willing to provide its prey. He, as it were, killed it, he slew the lion, really, within the pit, Ibid, in plain sight of the evil other side, seeing this that other side was emboldened to send a dog to eat the offerings. What is the name of that lion? XTMX, Uriel, for his face is the face of 7XRA, a lion what is the name of that dog Q1XB, Baladin, is its name, for it is excluded from the category of D7X Adam, human, but is rather a dog, its face a dog, question mark, on a snowy day, a day when since prevailed, an judgment was decreed above by the celestial court. Degrees of this is written, she is not afraid of snow for her household, Proverbs 31 hours, and 21 minutes, judgment on high, why, because her whole household is clothed in crimson, ibid, and can endure the fierce fire. Until here, mystery of the verse, what is written next, he slew an Egyptian, a man of good appearance to Samuel, ibid, 21, here the mystery of the verse discloses that whenever Israel sinned he departed, withholding from them all the goodness all the light illumining them. He slew an Egyptian man, the light of that light illumining Israel. Who is it? Moses, as is written, they said, an Egyptian man rescued us. Exodus 2 19. Degrees there he was born, there he was raised, there he rose to the highest light. Degrees degrees a man of seven by seventy. Mera, good appearance, as is said, seven by seven. You Mera, in appearance, not in riddles. Numbers 12, 8.7, man as is said, man of Elohim Deuteronomy 33, 1, husband, as it were, of that MX, Mera, appearance, of the presence of YHVH, for he was worthy of conducting this rung on earth in any way he wished, something no other human attained. The Egyptian had a spear in his hand, 2 Samuel, Ibid, this is the staff of God, handed down to him, as is said, with the staff of God in my hand, Exodus 17, 9. This is the staff created on the eve of Sabbath at twilight, degrees engraved with the holy name, a holy graving, with this he sinned at the rock, as is said, he struck the rock with his staff twice, Numbers 20 11. The blessed holy one said to him, Moses, I did not give you my staff for this, by your life, from now on, it will no longer be in your hand, immediately he went down to him with a club to Samuel, Ibid, degrees, with severe judgment and wrenched the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, for from that moment it was withheld from him and was never again in his hand, and killed him with his own spear. Because of the sin of striking with that staff, he died and did not enter the Holy Land, and this light was withheld from Israel. From the thirty, he was most honored. 2 Samuel, Ibid, 23.7 degrees These are the thirty celestial years, on which he drew, conveying them below. Drawing on them, he drew near but the three he did not attain, they approached him, giving to him wholeheartedly, 
but he did not approach them registered signs still, although he was not counted as one of them. David set him over his bodyguard, for he never faded from the tablet of his heart. Seven ah, uh, they are never separated. David set him close, not conversely, for with the praises, songs, and love that the moon offers to the sun she draws him toward her, so that he dwell with her. This is, David set him over his bodyguard, Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Abba fell before him. Meanwhile they did not see him, they rose, looking in every direction, but could not see him. They sat down and wept, and could not speak to one another. After a while Rabbi Abba said, This is precisely what we learned, on whatever path the righteous walk, with words of Torah between them, virtuous ones of that world come to them. Question mark? This was indeed Rav Hamnun Asava, coming to us from that world to reveal these words to us, before we could recognize him, he vanished. They rose and tried to goad the donkeys, but they would not move. They tried to goad them, but they would not move. Frightened, they left the donkeys behind. Still today that spot is called donkey's sight. Rabbi Eliezer opened, saying, How immense is your goodness that you have hidden away for those in awe of you. Psalms 31 hours, and 20 minutes. How great is the precious, supernal goodness the blessed Holy One intends to lavish upon humanity, for the supremely righteous, dreading sin. Engaging in Torah, when they enter that world, the verse does not read your goodness, but rather your immense goodness. Who is that? The memory of your immense goodness they express. Psalms 145, 7. Degrees Degrees. Joy of life flowing from the world that is coming registered sign to vitality of the worlds. Who is the memory of your immense goodness? Immense goodness for the house of Israel. Isaiah 63, 7 degrees tm further. How immense is your goodness? Here is engraved a mystery of wisdom, all mysteries intimated here seven meters ma, how, as has been explained, immense, the immense and mighty tree, degrees degrees for there is another, smaller tree, but this one is immense, penetrating the vault of heaven, your th goodness, the light created on the first day, degrees that you have hidden away for those in awe of you, for he concealed it for the righteous in that world, degrees that you made, Psalms 31 hours, and 20 minutes degrees the upper garden of Eden, degrees as is written, the place you have made to dwell in, O-Y-H-V-H, Exodus 15 17. This is that you made for those who take refuge in you, in the presence of human beings, the lower garden of Eden, where all the righteous abide in spirit clothed in a splendid garment resembling the image of this world this is a one, nedged, in the presence of, human beings, comma in the image of human beings of, this world there they stand, then fly through the air, Ascending to the Academy of Heaven in that upper garden of Eden they soar and bathe in the dew of rivers of pure balsam. They appear in the presence of human beings, enacting miracles for them like celestial angels degrees, as we just saw the radiance of the high lamp, though we were not privileged to contemplate and discover further mysteries of wisdom, Rabbi Abba opened, saying, Manoah said to his wife, We will surely die, for we have seen God, Judges 13.22. Even though Manoah did not know its nature, registered sign he said, Since it is written, No human shall see me and live. Exodus 33 hours, and 20 minutes, and we certainly have seen, so we will surely die. As for us, we have seen and attained this light moving with us. Question mark yet we are still alive, for the blessed Holy One sent him to us to reveal mysteries of wisdom. Happy is our share, they went on, they reached a certain mountain, as the sun was inclining. The branches of the tree on the mountain began lashing one another, emitting a song. As they were walking, they heard a resounding voice proclaim, Holy sons of God, degrees dispersed among the living of this world, luminous lamps, initiates of the academy, assemble at your places to delight with your Lord in Torah. They were frightened, stood in place, then sat down. Meanwhile a voice called out as before, proclaiming, Mighty boulders, towering hammers behold the master of colors embroidered in figures, standing on a dais, question mark, enter and assemble, that moment, they heard the branches of the trees resounding intensely, proclaiming, the voice of YHVH break cedars, Psalms 29, 5, Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Abba fell on their faces, immense fear falling, upon them, they rose hastily, went on, and heard nothing, leaving the mountain, they walked on, upon reaching the house of Rabbi Yo son of Rabbi Shimon son of Lakaniah. Degrees they saw Rabbi Shimon son of Yohei and rejoiced. 7b. Rabbi Shimon rejoiced, saying to them, Indeed you have traversed a path of heavenly miracles and signs. 
for I was just now sleeping, and I saw you and Benayahu son of Yehoiada, who was sending you two crowns registered sign by the hand of a certain old man to crown you. This was certainly a path of the blessed Holy One. Further, I see your faces transfigured, Rabbi Yo said. Well have you said, a sage is preferable to a prophet Rabbi Elazar approached, placed his head between the knees of his father, registered sign and told him what happened. Rabbi Shimon was frightened and wept. He said, YHVH, I heard what you made heard, I am at Habakkuk 3, 2. This verse was spoken by Habakkuk when he saw his death and was restored to life by Elisha? Why was he named Pippin, Habakkuk, Habakkuk? Because it is written, at this time next year, you will be in pain. Havajat, embracing, a son. 2 Kings 4.16, he registered sign was the son of the Shunammite. Furthermore there were two embracings, one by his mother, one by Elisha, as is written, he placed his mouth on his mouth, Ibid, 34. I have discovered in the book of King Solomon, he inscribed on him in words the engraved name of 72 names, for the letters of the alphabet that his father had originally inscribed on him flew away from him when he died. Now that Elisha embraced him, he inscribed on him all those letters of the 72 names. The letters of these 72 engraved names are 216 letters, degrees all of which Elisha inscribed with his breath to restore him to life through the letters of the 72 names. He called him Pippin, Havak, a name fulfilling all sides, fulfilling embracings, as explained, and fulfilling the mystery of the 216 letters of the holy name. He was revived with words, enduringly. So he was called Habakkuk. It was he who said, YHVH, I heard what you made heard. I am not heard what happened to me. My tasting of that world. Degrees and I am frightened. He began begging for compassion for his soul, exclaiming, YHVH, your action that you did for me, in the midst of years. WN Hayehu, may its life be Habakkuk. Ibid 14 meters. Hayehu, like MN. Hayayav, its life degrees whoever is bound to those primordial years. Life is bound to him. Convey it in the midst of years. Ibid. Convey it to that level that has no life at all. Degrees Rabbi Shimon wept and said, From what I have heard, I, too, am afraid of the blessed Holy One. Raising his hands above his head, he exclaimed, What a privilege that you saw Rav Hamnun Asava, radiance of Torah, face to face. I was not so privileged. He fell on his face and saw him uprooting mountains, kindling lights in the palace of King Messiah. Degrees he said to him, Rabbi, in that world you will be neighbors, empowered masters in the presence of the blessed Holy One. From that day on, he called Rabbi Eliezer, his son, and Rabbi Abba. 5 by 15, Peniel, face of God, as is said, for I have seen God face to face Genesis 32 hours, and 31 minutes degrees degrees Rabbi he I, I it opened, the beginning of wisdom is of YHVH, all who actualize it gain good insight. His praise endures forever Psalms 11:10. The beginning of wisdom. This verse should read the end of wisdom is of YHVH because of YHVH is really Muksrana, Birishit, in the beginning. The end of wisdom, however, it enables one to enter the level of supernal wisdom, as is written, open for me gates of righteousness. This is the gate to YHVH. Psalms 118 hours and 19 minutes 20. Truly, for unless one enters this gate, one will never enter. This can be compared to an exalted king, high, concealed, and hidden away, who built gates for himself, one above the other. At the end of all the gates, he fashioned one gate with many locks, openings, palaces, one above the other. He said, whoever wishes to enter my presence, this gate will be first. Whoever enters, will enter through this gate. Similarly, the first gate to supernal wisdom is of YHVH degrees. This is MWN, Rishit, beginning, 1, Bet, 2 joined together as 1, degrees these are 2 points, 1 hidden and concealed, 1 existing overtly, since they are inseparable, they are called MWXN, Rishit, beginning, 1, not 2, whoever attains one attains the other, TM all is 1, for he and his name are 1 5, Psalms 83 hours, and 19 minutes, as is written, they will know that you, YHVH, alone are your name why is it called of YHVH? Because it is the tree of good and evil. Degrees if a person is deserving, it is good, if not, evil. Ada, so abides at this site, gateway to all goodness of the world. Good insight, two gates as one, Rabbi Yo said, 
Good inside is the tree of life. Good inside with no evil at all. Degrees? Since no evil abides there, it is good inside without evil. All who actualize it. David's loyal acts of love. Isaiah 55. 3. Supporters of Torah. Degrees degrees those supporting Torah, as it were, actualize. Degrees all those studying Torah attain no actualization while they study, while those supporting them do. Through this power, his praise endures forever, and the throne stands fittingly firm. Degrees degrees Rabbi Shimon was sitting engaged in Torah on the night when the bride is joined with her husband. Registered sign for we have learned. All those companions initiated into the bridal palace need. On that night when the bride is destined the next day to be under the canopy with her husband registered sign degrees, to be with her all night, delighting with her in her adornments in which she is arrayed, degrees degrees engaging in Torah, from Torah to prophets, from prophets to writings, midrashic renderings of verses and mysteries of wisdom, these are her adornments and finery, she enters, escorted by her maidens, standing above their heads, adorned by them, she rejoices with them the whole night. The next day she enters the canopy only with them, and they are called members of the canopy? As soon as she enters the canopy, the Blessed Holy One inquires about them, blesses them, and crowns them with bridal crowns. Happy is their share. Rabbi Shimon and all the companions were singing the song of Torah, innovating words of Torah, each one of them. Rabbi Shimon and all the other companions rejoiced. Rabbi Shimon said, My children, happy is your share. For tomorrow the bride will enter the canopy only with you. For all those arranging her adornments tonight, rejoicing with her, will be recorded and inscribed in the book of memory degrees. The Blessed Holy One blesses them with seventy blessings and crowns of the supernal world. Rabbi Shimon opened, saying, Heaven declares the glory of God. Psalms 19. 2 degrees. We have already established this verse. Degrees but at this time, when the bride is aroused to enter the canopy the next day, she is arrayed and illumined with her adornments, together with the companions rejoicing with her that whole night, while she rejoices with them. The following day, countless troops, soldiers, and camps assemble with her, and she waits together with all of them for each and every one who adorned her this night, as soon as they join together, and she sees her husband. What is written? Heaven declares the glory of God. Heaven, the groom entering the canopy degrees HN 50%, Miss Aparim, declares, Sparkles with the radiance of 75 O, sapphire, sapphire, sparkling and radiating from one end of the universe to the other. The glory of God, glory of the bride, who is called God, as is written, God rages every day, Psalm 7 12 degrees 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 every day of the year, she is called God, but now that she has entered the canopy, she is called glory as well as God, glory upon glory, radiance upon radiance, dominion upon dominion. Then. At the moment when heaven enters the canopy, coming to illumine her all those companions who adorned her are designated there by name, as is written, the sky proclaims the work of his hands, Psalms 19, 2. The work of his hands, masters of the covenant with the bride, her partners degrees those masters of the covenant are called the work of his hands, as is said, the work of our hands, establish it, Psalms 90 hours, and 17 minutes, this is the covenant sealed in a man's flesh. Rav Hamnun Asava said as follows, Do not let your mouth induce your flesh to sin Ecclesiastes 5, 5. One should not let his mouth reach evil fantasies, degrees causing that holy flesh in which the holy covenant is sealed to sin, 8 degrees if he does, he is dragged into hell. The one appointed over hell is named Duma, who is escorted by many myriads of angels of destruction, he stands at the door of hell, but he is not permitted to approach any of those who guarded the holy covenant in this world. King David, when that incident befell him, was frightened. That moment, Doom arose in the presence of the Blessed Holy One and said to him, Master of the Universe, 8b, it is written in the Torah, a man who commits adultery with a man's wife, Leviticus 20:10, degrees 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 and, to your neighbor's wife, Leviticus 18:20, degrees David, who ruined the covenant by lewdness, what shall be done to him, the Blessed Holy One said to him, David is innocent and the Holy Covenant stands arrayed, for it is revealed before me that Bathsheba was destined for him since the day the world was created. He replied, even if it is revealed before you, before him it was not, he said. Further, what happened happened with permission, for of all those entering battle, no one would enter until he legally divorced his wife. Degrees he replied, if so, he should have waited three months, 
and he didn't. He said, concerning which case was that rule established, where we fear she might be pregnant, but it is revealed before me that Uriah never approached her, for look, my name is sealed within him as evidence, it is spelled both MMX Uriah, and WX Uriah who, degrees my name is sealed in him. Proving he never cohabited with her, he replied, Master of the Universe, as I already said, even if before you it is revealed that Uriah did not lie with her, was it revealed to him? Should have waited three months for her. Furthermore, if he knew that he registered sign never lay with her, why did David send for him and order him to have intercourse with his wife? As is written, go down to your house and bathe your feet. 2 Samuel 11, 8. Degrees degrees? He said, he certainly did not know. Degrees degrees but he waited longer than three months. Actually four. For so have we learned, on the 25th of Nisan, David issued a proclamation throughout Israel, and by the 7th of Sivan, they had assembled under Joab, then they set out and destroyed the land of the children of Ammon. They lingered there for Sivan, Tammuz, Av, and Elul, and on the 24th of Elul happened what happened with Bathsheba, on Yom Kippur the Blessed Holy One forgave him that sin. Some say, he issued the proclamation on the 7th of Adar, they assembled on the 15th of Lyre. On the 15th of Elul happened what happened with Bathsheba, and on Yom Kippur he was assured, YHVH has removed your sin, you will not die. 2 Samuel 12 13. What does you will not die mean? You will not die at the hand of Duma. Duma replied, Master of the universe, I still have one thing against him. He opened his mouth and said TM is YHVH lives. The man who did this deserves to die. Ibid. 5. Comma degrees degrees he condemned himself. I claim him he said, you are not entitled, he confessed to me, saying, I have sinned against YHVH, Ibid, 13, even though he did not sin, but as for his sin against Uriah, degrees degrees I sentenced him to punishment, which he received, immediately Duma returned in despair to his sight, concerning this, David said unless YHVH had been my help, my soul would soon have dwelt with Duma, Psalms 94 hours, and 17 minutes, Unless YHVH had been my help, my guardian, my soul would soon have dwelled. What does would soon have mean? By a thread as fine as a filament of hair, separating me from the other side. By that measure my soul did not dwell with Duma. So a person should be on guard not to speak as David did, since one will not be able to plead with Duma that it was an error Ecclesiastes 5 is, as has happened with David, when the Blessed Holy One defeated him legally. Why should God be angry at your voice? at the voice in which one speaks, and destroy the work of your hands, holy flesh, holy covenant that he damages, and he is dragged into hell by Duma, so exclamation point for the sky proclaims the work of his hands, Psalms 19, 2, the companions who join this bride, masters of her covenant, her partners, proclaims, inscribing every single one, who is the sky, the sky embracing sun, moon, stars, and constellations degrees, the Book of Memory, he proclaims and inscribes them, recording them as initiates of the palace, constantly fulfilling their desires. Day to day pours forth speech, Psalms 19, 3 registered sign, a holy day of those supernal days of the king, they praise the companions and repeat the word degrees each one told his companion. Day to day expresses that speech and praises it, night to night, Ibid, every rung ruling the night extols to one another each companion's knowledge exclamation point ecstatically becoming their companions and lovers, there is no speech, there are no words, Ibid, four degrees, any other, mundane words, not heard in the presence of the holy king, nor does he wish to hear them, but as for these words, their line extends throughout the earth, Ibid, five, these words extend nine a, uh, a cord, measuring above and below, from some of them skies are made, from others, earth, through that praise, Two degrees do not suppose that those words stay in one place, they roam the world, their words extend to the end of the world, Ibid, once transformed into skies, who dwells in them? The verse goes on to say, in them he set a tent for the sun Ibid, that sacred sun abides in them, is crowned by them degrees dwelling in those skies, crowned in them, he is like a groom coming forth from his chamber, Ibid, six, running joyously through those skies, emerging from them, he enters and runs through a certain other tower at another site, his going forth is at one end of the heaven, Ibid, 7, indeed he emerges from the upper world, the end of heaven above, degrees and his circuit, Ibid, comma who is his circuit? The end of heaven below, 
who is the circuit of the year, Exodus 34 hours, and 22 minutes, encircling all endings, linking heaven with this sky, nothing is hidden from his heat, Psalms 19, 7, from the heat of this circuit and the circuit of the sun, encircling all sides, nothing is hidden, not one of the supernal wrongs, is concealed from him, for they all come encircling him, not one of them hides from him, from his heat, when he arouses himself, desiring them totally. All this praise and exaltation stems from Torah, as is written, the Torah of YHVH is pure, Ibid, 8, 6 times YHVH is written here, registered sign and there are 6 verses from heaven declares, Ibid, 2, to the Torah of YHVH is pure, Ibid, 8. Concerning this mystery it is written, NWXN2, Bereshit, in the beginning, look. Six letters degrees yaksn and x dmwt and x dtnkia bar elohim et hasham am vet et God created the heavens and the earth. Look, six more words. Corresponding to the six times yhvh appears. Six verses for six letters here. Six names for six words here. While they were sitting, Rabbi Elazar, his son, and Rabbi Abba entered. He said to them, The face of Shekinah has indeed arrived, that is why I called you x25, penial face of God, for you have seen the face of Shekinah face to face, degrees now that you know, and he has revealed to you the verse Benayahu son of Yehoiada, it is certainly a word of the holy ancient one, and the following verse as well. The concealed one of all spoke it and this verse appears similarly elsewhere, for, he opened, saying, he slew the Egyptian, a man of measure, five cubits high, 1 Chronicles 11:23. All one mystery. What does the Egyptian mean that well-known one, very great in the land of Egypt, Exodus 11, 3, degrees grand and splendid, as revealed by that old man. This verse was discussed in the Academy on High, a man of measure, all is one, a man of good appearance 2 Samuel 23 21, why measure all is one, for it is the Sabbath and her range, as is written, you are to measure outside the city, Numbers 35, 5, and similarly. You are not to commit corruption in justice, in measure, Leviticus 19.35, degrees so he is a man of measure, Tealy a man of measure, his length extending from one end of the universe to the other, as with Adam, now if you say, look at what is written, five cubits high those five cubits extended from one end of the universe to the other, in the Egyptian's hand was a spear, as he said, like a weaver's beam, 1 Chronicles, Ibid, the staff of God in his hand. TM engraved with the graven, explicit name, registered sign with the radiance registered sign of permutations of letters engraved by Bizalel, called Weaver, together with his academy, as is written, the engraver, the designer, the embroiderer, Exodus 35 hours, and 35 minutes, dot degrees degrees that staff was radiating the engraved name in every direction with radiance of the wise who engraved the explicit name in 42 colors, from here on. The verse accords with what he said. Degrees degrees happy is his share. Sit, dear ones, sit. Let us renew the adornment of the bride tonight. Registered sign. For everyone joining her on this night will be protected, above and below, that entire year and will live through the year in peace. Of them is written, the angel of YHVH encamps around those in awe of him and delivers them. Taste and see that YHVH is good. Psalms 34, 8, 9. Rabbi Shimon opened, saying. In the beginning God created Genesis 1, 1. This verse calls for contemplation, for anyone claiming that there is another God is extirpated from worlds, as is said, thus shall you say to them, the gods who did not make heaven and earth shall perish from earth and from under these heavens, Jeremiah 10 11, for there is no God other than the blessed Holy One alone. Now this, 9b, verses in Aramaic, registered sign except for the word ending the verse. TM if you suppose that this is because holy angels do not attend to Aramaic nor recognize it, degrees then this word registered sign should have been spoken in the holy tongue, so that holy angels will listen and be obliged to acknowledge it, but indeed, precisely because of this it is written in Aramaic, for since holy angels do not attend to it, they will not become jealous of a human and harm him, degrees for those holy angels are included in this verse, since they are called DX, Elohim, gods. Registered sign registered sign they are included in the category of gods, though they did not make heaven and earth, XPQX1, Vearka, and earth, the verse should read X3NN, Veira, degrees but XPNX, Arga, is one of those seven earths below, side of descendants of Cain.
After he was banished from the face of the earth, he descended there, generating offspring, he blundered there, knowing nothing, it is a dual earth, dualized by darkness and light, two officials rule there, one ruling darkness, the other light, inciting one another. When Cain descended there, they joined together, were completed as one, entirely befitting the offspring of Cain, so they have two heads, four like two snakes, but the one of light rules, prevailing, defeating the other. So those of darkness merged in those of light, and they became one. Those two officials are Afrira and Kastaman, question mark who resemble six-winged holy angels. One resembles an ox, the other an eagle, but when they join they are transformed into the image of a human being. Degrees in darkness they f turn into the image of a two-headed serpent, moving like a serpent, then swooping into the abyss, bathing in the vast ocean, reaching the chains of Uzzah and Azil, they agitate and arouse them. These then leap into the dark mountains, thinking the Blessed Holy One is about to call them to judgment. Question mark? Those two officials swim the vast ocean and fly through the night to Nama, mother of demons, after whom the primordial deities straight, registered sign degrees they intend to approach her, but she leaps 60,000 parasangs, transmogrifying herself into countless figures confronting human beings, so that they stray after her. These two officials fly and roam throughout the world then return to their abode, arousing those descendants of Cain to generate offspring by the spirit of evil impulses. The heavens ruling there do not resemble these, registered sign nor does the earth bear. Seed and harvest through their power as does this and they only cycle once in many years of seasons. These gods who did not make heaven and earth shall perish from the higher earth of the world, so that they will not rule over it nor roam through it, causing humans to defile themselves through a nocturne. Now mishap, degrees so they shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens, fashioned by the name seven times, Ella, these, as explained, that is why this verse is written in Aramaic, so that the celestial angels will not think it is being said about them and denounce us. So the mystery of seven times, Ella, accords with what has been said, it constitutes a sacred word, not to be exchanged for Aramaic, Rabbi Eliezer said to him, this verse that is written, who would not be in awe of you, O king of the nations? for it befits you Jeremiah 10, 7, what kind of praise is that, degrees he replied, Eliezer, my son, this verse has been discussed in various places, but it is certainly not so, for it is written, since among all the wise of the nations and among all their kingdoms, there is none like you, Ibid, providing a pretext for sinners who think that the blessed Holy One does not know their thoughts and fantasies, so their stupidity must be exposed. Once a Gentile philosopher came to me and said, You claim that your God rules all the heights of heaven, that all the hosts and camps cannot grasp or know his sight. 49 Well, this verse does not exalt him very well, since among all the wise of the nations and among all their kingdoms there is none like you. What kind of comparison is this, to human beings who do not, ten and endure? Furthermore, you say, Never again did there arise in Israel a prophet like Moses Deuteronomy 34 hours and 10 minutes. In Israel none arose, but among the nations of the world one did. 4% similarly I can say, among all the wise of nations there is none like him, but among the wise of Israel there is, if so, a God who has an equal among the wise of Israel is not a God who reigns supreme. Look closely at the verse, and you will find I have been fittingly precise, I replied, you have certainly spoken well, who revives the dead, the blessed holy one alone, along came Elisha and Elisha and they revived the dead, who makes the rain fall, the blessed holy one alone. Along came Elijah and withheld it, and then brought it down through his prayer, degrees who created heaven and earth, the blessed holy one alone, Abraham came, and they were firmly established because of him, degrees, who controls the sun, the blessed holy one. Joshua came and calmed it down, commanding it to stand in place, and it stood still, as is written, the sun stood still, and the moon halted. Joshua 10:13. The Blessed Holy One issues decrees. Similarly, Moses issued decrees, which were fulfilled. Further, the Blessed Holy One issues decrees, and the righteous of Israel abolish them, as is written, the righteous one rules the awe of God. 2 Samuel 23, 3. Further, he commanded them to walk in his ways, literally. Imitating him consummately, that philosopher went and converted in the village of Shiblaim degrees they called him Yos the small degrees he studied Torah intensively and is considered one of the righteous sages of that place. Now we should contemplate the verse, isn't it already written, 
All the nations are as nothing before him. Isaiah 40 hours and 17 minutes? What amplification appears here? But, who would not be in awe of you, O king of the nations? Is he then king of the nations and not king of Israel? The blessed Holy One always desires to be glorified through Israel, and is named for Israel alone, as is written, God of Israel, God of the Hebrews, Exodus 5, 1, 3, and similarly, thus says YHVH, King of Israel, Isaiah 44, 6. King of Israel, indeed, the nations of the world said, we have another patron in heaven, since your king rules only over you, not over us, so the verse comes and says, who would not be in awe of you, O king of the nations? Supreme King, ruling them, punishing them, implementing his will upon them, for it befits you, to be in awe of you, above and below. Since among all the wise of the nations, the mighty rulers appointed over them degrees degrees too and among all their kingdoms degrees degrees, in that kingdom on high, for there are four kingdoms reigning above, reigning by his will over all other nations, nevertheless, none of them does even the slightest thing unless he commands them, as is written, he does as he wishes with the host of heaven and with the inhabitants of earth. Daniel 4.32 The wise of the nations, princes appointed on high, whose wisdom issues from his mouth, and among all their kingdoms, the reigning kingdom, as explained. This is the simple meaning of the verse, but, among all the wise of the nations and among all their kingdoms, in the books of the ancients I have found as follows, although those camps and hosts have been empowered over affairs of the world, and he has commanded each and every one to enact his action. 7723 pn me Ian Kamaka, who is Ian like you Jeremiah 10, 7 degrees degrees who else is the holy concealed one, it is not as will that any of them act like you. For you are distinguished in esteem, distinguished from all of them in action and speech, this is 7772 px, me Ian Kamaka YHVH, who is Ian like you, YHVH, Ibid, 6 degrees degrees who is the holy concealed one that would act or be like you above or below, that would resemble you at all, the act of the holy king is heaven and earth, but they are chaos, and what they desire is worthless Isaiah 44, 9.2 degrees degrees of the blessed holy one is written, in the beginning God created Genesis 1, 1, of their kingdoms, it is written, the earth was chaos and void Genesis 1, 2, degrees 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 Rabbi Shimon said to the companions, members of this wedding party, let each one of you adorn the bride with one adornment, exclamation point degrees he said to Rabbi Eleazar, his son, Eleazar, give one present to the bride, for tomorrow when he enters the canopy, he will gaze upon those songs of praise bestowed upon her by initiates of the palace, to stand in his presence, Rabbi Eleazar opened, saying, who is this that ascends from the wilderness, song of songs 3, 6, who is this up, sum of two sanctities, two worlds in one bond, one nexus degrees, ascends, literally, to become the holy of holies, degrees for the holy of holies is who and is joined with this, so that she ascends, becoming the holy of holies, from the wilderness, for in the desert she inherited the role of bride, entering the canopy degrees further, from the 7370, midbar, wilderness, she ascends, as is said, yam, you midbarek, and your speech, is lovely, ibid, 4, 3, by that 727 meters, Midbar, speech, one ob, by the whispering of lips, she ascends, five copyright we have learned, what is the meaning of the verse these mighty gods, these are the gods who smote the Egyptians with every kind of plague 727 mm1, ba Midbar, in the wilderness, 1 Samuel 4, 8 5, was it in the wilderness that the blessed holy one, did everything to them, it was an inhabited land, rather, 72711, Bamidbar, means N72, Bidagura, by speech, as is said, 772701, Umidbarek, and your speech, is lovely degrees registered signed similarly, Um 7 a 7 in, Mimidbar Harim, from wilderness mountains, Psalm 75, 7, from speech he raised, so, 2, she ascends from Satan, Hamidbar, indeed from Hamidbar, by that word of the mouth, she ascends, nestling between the mother's wings, degrees afterward through speech she descends, hovering over the heads of the holy people degrees how does she ascend by speech? First, upon rising in the morning, one should bless his Lord, the moment he opens his eyes degrees how can he bless, degrees this is what the ancient Hasidim used to do, degrees in front of them was a 
receptacle of water, and when they awoke at night they would wash their hands, rise, and study Torah, and offer a blessing over the crowing of the rooster degrees two degrees for the moment that the rooster crows is precisely midnight, when the blessed Holy One appears with the righteous in the Garden of Eden, it is forbidden to bless with impure, filthy hands, degrees and similarly at all times degrees for when a person is sleeping, this spirit flies away from him, and as his spirit flies off, an impure spirit is ready to settle on his hands, defiling them, degrees so it is, forbidden to offer a blessing with them without first washing, now if you ask, if so, then during the daytime, when one has not been sleeping, and his spirit has not flown away and no impure spirit rests upon him, why is one who enters the bathroom forbidden to bless or read Torah, even a single word, until after washing his hands, if you say the reason is that his hands are dirty, not so, how have they become dirty the answer is, woe to the inhabitants of the world who fail to consider, who are unaware of the glory of their Lord, who do not realize the foundation of the world's existence. There is one spirit in every bathroom of the world, degrees degrees dwelling there, reveling in that dirt and filth, and it settles immediately on the fingers of one's hands. Rabbi Shimon opened, saying, whoever rejoices on the festivals without giving the blessed Holy One his share, that stingy one, evil-eyed Satan, archenemy, appears and accuses him, removes him from the world degrees how much compounded suffering he brings upon him, the share of the blessed holy one consists in gladdening the poor as best as one can degrees, for on these days the blessed holy one comes to see those broken vessels of his degrees entering their company and seeing they have nothing to celebrate, he weeps over them, and then ascends to destroy the world, many members of the academy come before him and plead, master of the universe, you are called compassionate and gracious, degrees may your compassion be aroused for your children he answers them, don't the inhabitants of the world realize that I based the world solely on love, as is written, I said, the world shall be built on love, Psalms 89, 3, by this the world endures, the angels on high declare before him, master of the universe, look at so and so who is eating and drinking his fill, he could be generous with the poor, but he gives them nothing the accuser comes, claims permission, and sets out in pursuit of that human being, who in the world was greater than Abraham, who acted kindly to all creatures registered sign to, what is written concerning the day that he prepared a feast, the child grew and was weaned, and Abraham held a great feast on the day that Isaac was weaned Genesis 21, 8, he made a feast, inviting all the dignitaries of his 540 generation, we have learned, degrees whenever there is a joyous meal, the accuser comes to observe, if the host has first provided for the poor or invited them into his home, then the accuser departs from the house without entering. If not, he enters and witnesses the chaos of revelry, without any poor, without prior generosity toward the poor, then he ascends, accusing the host. As Abraham welcomed the dignitaries, the accuser descended and stood at the door, disguised as a poor man. No one paid him any attention. Abraham was waiting on those kings and princes. Sarah was suckling all their babies because they did not believe that she had given birth, they said, it is a foundling from off the street so when they brought along their babies, Sarah took them and suckled them in front of everyone, as is written, who would have said, 11 a, uh, to Abraham, Sarah will suckle children, Ibid 21, 7, children, literally degrees meanwhile the accuser was still at the door, she registered sign, said, God has made a laughing stock of me, Ibid. 21, 6, at once, the accuser rose to face the blessed Holy One, he exclaimed, Master of the Universe, you called Abraham my beloved Isaiah 41, 8, he held a feast and gave me nothing, degrees and nothing to the poor, to you, he t didn't offer even a single dove, furthermore, Sarah said that you made fun of her the blessed Holy One replied, who in the world is like Abraham, but he held his ground until he ruined all that joy and the blessed holy one commanded that Isaac be offered as a sacrifice, registered sign and it was decreed that Sarah die in anguish over her son's ordeal all that suffering came about because he gave nothing to the poor, Rabbi Shimon opened, saying, what is the meaning of the verse, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to YHVH, Isaiah 38, 2 degrees degrees, come and see how potent is the power of Torah, how supreme above all, for whoever engages in Torah has no fear of those above and those below, nor of any grave sickness in the world, since he grasps the tree of life and learns from it every day degrees for Torah teaches a person to follow the true path, advises him how to 
return to his Lord, nullifying that decree degrees even if it has been ordained that the decree not be nullified, it is annulled immediately and removed from him, looming over him no longer in this world. So one should engage in Torah day and night, never departing from her, as is written, meditate on it day and night. Joshua 1, 8. If one departs from Torah or separates from her, it is like separating oneself from the tree of life degrees degrees come and see this advice. When one climbs into bed at night, he should accept upon himself wholeheartedly the kingdom on high and in advance deliver to him the pledge of his soul degrees degrees at once he is protected from any grave illness or maleficent spirit, which are powerless against him. In the morning, upon rising from bed, one should bless his Lord, enter his house, bow down in great awe before his sanctuary, and then offer his prayer. He should seek advice from those holy patriarchs. Degrees as is written, as for me, through your abundant love, I will enter your house, I will bow down at your holy sanctuary in awe of you. Psalms 5, 8. So they have established, a person should not enter the synagogue without first consulting Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, for they innovated prayer to the blessed Holy One, as is written, as for me, through your abundant love, I will enter your house, Abraham, I will bow down at your holy sanctuary, T. Isaac, in awe of you, Jacob degrees one should embrace them first, then enter the synagogue and offer one's prayer, so it is written, he said to me, you are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified, Isaiah 49, 3, degrees degrees Rabbi Pinhas registered sign used to frequent Rabbi Rehume registered sign by the shore of Lake, Jinnazer degrees registered sign he transcended seeing, he said to Rabbi Pinhas, Truly I have heard that our companion Yohei has a pearl, a precious stone. I gazed at the light of that pearl, issuing like the radiance of the sun from its sheath, illuminating the entire world that light extends from heaven to earth, illumining the entire world until the ancient of days comes and sits fittingly upon the throne degrees that light is contained totally in your house, and from the light contained in your house emanates a fine, thread-like ray, radiating, illumining the entire world degrees degrees happy is your share. Go. My son, go out after that pearl illuminating the world, for the time is ripe. He left him and was about to board a boat along with two other men. When he saw two birds come flying over the lake, he shouted to them, Birds, birds, flying over the lake, have you seen the sight of the son of Yohei? He paused a while, and then said, Birds, birds, go and bring me a reply. They flew off, they embarked, setting off across the lake degrees, before he had disembarked those birds returned, and in the mouth of one of them was a note on which was written, the son of Yohei has emerged from the cave along with his son Rabbi Eliezer, degrees registered sign degrees he went to him and found him transfigured, his body full of moldy sores. He wept, 11b, together with him and said, Alice, that I see you so. He replied, happy is my share that you see me so, for had you not seen me so, I would not be so. Rabbi Shimon opened with the commandments of Torah saying, the commandments of Torah given by the Blessed Holy One to Israel are all written in Torah in general terms. In the beginning God created Genesis 1, 1, this is the first commandment of all, called Ah of YHVH, which is called beginning, as is written, the beginning of wisdom is Ah of YHVH, Psalms 111 hours, and 10 minutes, Ah of YHVH is the beginning of knowledge, Proverbs 1, 7. For this entity is named beginning. It is the gate through which one enters faith. The entire world is based upon this commandment. A branches in three directions, two of which are not fittingly rooted, one of which is essence registered sign registered sign of awe. There is the person who fears the blessed Holy One so that his children may live and not die, or who fears physical or material punishment. Because of this he fears him constantly, but his awe is not focused on the blessed Holy One. Three. Then there is the person who fears the blessed Holy One because he is afraid of the punishment of the other world and the punishment of hell. Neither of these is the essential root of awe. The essence of awe is that a person be in awe of his Lord because he is immense and sovereign. Essence and root of all worlds, before whom every 